All right, guys, so really quick. So I figured out, I don't know if any of you saw my last video. So my last video was about this guy here, and I had 12 magnets on it. And I thought that the issue why I couldn't use a reed switch was because I either had A, too many magnets, or I couldn't find the right position for the reed switch. Well, it turns out I was wrong on both counts. Um, the reason why it wasn't working is I instinctively always go north, south, north, south, north, south. A reed switch requires all requires a monopole, all facing one direction, either north or south. Right now I have all north facing. And I'm going to test that theory. And if it works, I'll put the other magnets back on and we'll do it. They'll all be north facing. But right now I'm setting up this um, this stand. Oops, this stand unit. So stay tuned. I yeah 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 yeah. So I burnt out every single reed switch I had. I had it working. It was actually working, but the reed switches that I bought were way too underpowered. Um, they're probably good between three and five volts and. The coil, yeah, the setup I have just wouldn't work. I did get it running at one point, and it was running really well, but I can't replicate it. So I'm going to order some new reed switches. I actually have a homemade reed switch, uh, but it's pretty beat up. So, yeah. Now they're all north-facing, and I'm going to have to redo them. <clears throat> Excuse me, so that they're alternating poles. I printed out a um, tumbler because I've always wanted a rock tumbler, and I have a little motor that goes to it, too. Little side note. Anyway, let me see what I can do here. Stay tuned. So, Old Faithful, I dug up one of my very first JL94s, and it works as a monopole. Not very good, but it does work. This doesn't have any output, so the neon light is getting bombarded. But it does work. That's a, <clears throat> a single wound coil with an iron core. It doesn't last very long, though. It loses its connection. So I need to alternate the magnets. Stay tuned. Yeah, much better alternating poles. And that's an iron core, like I said earlier. I really like this little rotor. 12 and 52s. That poor neon is flashing for you guys, but it's solid for me. And it's not getting hot. That's at 12.6 volts. I got to put a different circuit on there. I want to see if I can chart. Oh, actually, I'm going to see if I can run my, um, <clears throat> my SuperCat bank. All right, stay tuned. Here's another really old JL94, and this is a super bright, LED bank courtesy of Redesign 3DP. Thank you, sir. I borrowed it from his circuit. So the JL94 doesn't really like single coil with iron cores. Let me stay tuned. It does like, <clears throat> excuse me, these beefy coils. But not so much. Let me see if I can. Yeah, it needs to be a little bit closer. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it does like the beefy coils. Lots of current. I have to figure out how to get output from these coils that don't generally do output. I could probably just pull right off of the same 
circuit that the or the same connection that the um, <clears throat> the neon is. Stay tuned. Oh, I thought I was <clears throat> recording, but I guess I wasn't. I really like this LED. I have to ask Redesign where he gets it from. So I'm testing all the different circuits I have. I must have like 25 of them. And because the coil is so far away, this particular circuit either likes it to be started up fast or close to the... There we go. Just has to connect. Yeah, it's blinking for you guys, but it's solid for me. In fact, it's so damn bright I can barely look at it. All right, stay tuned. Another one. I really like that LED. It's really bright. I'm going to have to get a different coil underneath there because these circuits like the coils to be closer. Yeah, it's going to poop out right now. All right, stay tuned. Or just higher voltage. And this is also a pickup coil, too. It's got two sides to it. This is the run, and there's a pickup side. I should hook something up to it. Uh, let me try that. Stay tuned. Yeah, this is connected to the pickup side of that coil. And again, blinking for you guys, solid for me. Both of them are. That one's really bright. This is a nice coil. Sky gave me that coil. I purchased something from him. I forgot what it was, and he threw that in as a bonus. He's a great guy. He does some incredible work. There we go. Getting dual output. All right, let's see what else we can do. Stay tuned. Holy macro, that is bright. So this is one of my hall sensors. And I just realized I had fixed the display. I mounted it upside down. <laughs> so the second, the second EMF is over here. And that's putting out 9 volts. But man, that is bright. Turn it down a little bit. Yeah, so it's putting out 8 volts out of this guy. I have no idea what that LED is. Also getting some power from the other side of that coil. I just had a capacitor blow up on me. Which is, this is why I test these coils every, every now and then. Because I have them sitting in a very horrible drawer. I have to really fix that up. This guy works good. This was one of Sky's setups. And I had burnt this guy out, but I replaced it, which wasn't very hard. But yeah, it's, uh, and I can turn off that EMF. Or back EMF. Man, that is bright. I really like that LED. All right, guys, so this, today was just a day of just playing with stuff with this new rotor of mine. I got to get back to building the Tom Stanton generator. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Ciao.